everybody and welcome back to Beanie Boo Safari. Today I've got a super fun and exciting video planned for you guys. I'm going to be showing you how to make a no-sew Beanie Boo dress. So that means that you do not have to have any sewing experience and you do not have to sew at all to make this Beanie Boo dress. You may have noticed the appearance of some Beanie Boo dresses in my videos and I wanted to show you guys how to make something of the sort. Although those Beanie Boo dresses require a sewing machine and some sewing knowledge, so I decided to show you guys how to make a paper version. What you'll need for this is scissors, glue, a ribbon, a ruler, a pencil, and construction paper. The first thing you need to do is measure a rectangle that is 10 by 3 inches long and then cut it out. This is on construction paper that is double-sided, which will help make your dress look a lot neater. If you are using scrapbook paper or something that is not double-sided and has white on the other side, I would suggest doubling it up so that there are no rough edges and if you turn it upside down, you won't see white. All right, once you've cut that out, you need to pleat it. How you pleat something is you take a portion of the fabric, or in this case, paper, and you fold it over itself like this, and then line it up so that there is a little ruffle. Since this is paper, not fabric, I would suggest creasing it all the way down to make it lay Flat. Then you continue with that all along the 10 inches until you are happy with it. Finish, it should look something like this, and when you push it down a little bit, it should just collapse into a flat dress ruffle looking surface. If you think your dress might not be long enough to fit the waist of your Beanie Boo, I would suggest curving it a little bit so that it will be more form-fitting and jet out more at the sides. Like this, you have a bit of a curve at the top. Okay, we are almost done, so the next thing we are going to do is take some craft glue or fabric glue or whatever glue you have. I know I did show a glue stick in the supplies, but I do think that this will work a little bit better because it's a little bit more heavy duty and I think it will stay better. So what I'm going to do is just put a line of glue across the top and that is where the ribbon is going to go. I would suggest cutting your ribbon pretty long so you want it to fit around here and have enough slack to be able to tie it. If you're afraid that your dress is going to fall apart or you're going to be using it a lot, I would suggest putting a little drop of glue in between each of the slits so that it is a little bit more secure. Okay, all glue is applied. Now I'm just going to place the ribbon on top and hold it to dry. All right, after the glue has thoroughly dried, your dress should look something like this. It actually did take about a day for my glue to dry because I laid it on really thick because I really didn't want this ribbon to fall off. And after it was semi-dry, I kind of glued the underneath of these flaps down so that there would be no falling apart happening whatsoever. And it's okay if it looks kind of messy on this side. If you would like, you could put another layer of ribbon over top to make it look cleaner, but nobody's really going to be seeing this when it's on the Beanie Boo, so I don't think it really matters. But after that, your Beanie Boo dress is completely done and ready to fit on your Beanie Boo. So all you need to do is put it around their waist and then tuck the ribbon underneath their front legs and over their bottom legs and then tie it in a bow. And I would suggest just cutting a, off the excess ribbon so that you don't have very long um, tassels. So let me just tie it around safari and there we go. If the dress is a little bit too long for your liking, and you can just trim it off and you can add your own little um, decals and such, such as adding ribbon to the bottom or lace, or you can draw on it such as, since it's paper, add stickers, whatever you would like. And of course you can use different pattern papers and everything. I just decided to do purple because it will match Safari's eyes. All right, everybody, I really do hope that you found this video helpful and that you decide to make a dress of your own. You could make multiple and you could really make quite a few and you could have a whole fashion line going and the good thing about these materials is that they come in many different colors, many different shapes, and in many different sizes. And 
you can, it's really customizable. You can put marker and whatever. You can really, really do whatever you want with this. So I hope this helped. Tell me if you'd like to see more of these kind of crafting videos because I really do love to share my knowledge with you. So yeah, tell me in the comments if you'd like me to do some more tutorials and more kind of DIY themed videos because I really do enjoy making them. So that is it for me. I really hope you have a fantastic day. Don't worry. Be happy and goodbye.